October, 2021. Tessa rolled over, facing the same wall she'd viewed for more than 10 years. 37 cracks, 192 tiny holes punched in the shape of a small handgun, courtesy of the prison cell's previous guest. She had often wondered what instrument had been used to make such tiny holes, as any objects that could remotely cause injuries were forbidden. Some days she spent hours thinking about it. It was usually at this point that her circumstances served up a harsh dose of reality. Tears pooled, and she wiped them away with the edge of the wool blanket that covered the thin, worn mattress. When her thoughts took her back to her previous life, which they did on a daily basis, Tessa did the one thing that helped her to cope with her anxiety. She exercised. She lay down on the cold cement floor, hands folded behind her head, and began doing sit-ups. When she reached 500, she stopped, a thin sheet of sweat covering her, the hair at the nape of her neck slick with dampness. She stood and began doing jumping jacks, something she'd learned in her seventh grade gym class. She remembered thinking how stupid some of the girls in her class had looked. A few had developed breasts, some quite large. Jumping up and down with their breasts practically smacking them in the face, she'd been glad to be a bit behind in the physical development department. The memory brought a mimic of a smile, a rarity. The last time she'd smiled and felt true happiness was nothing more than a distant memory, as though it belonged to someone else, a lifetime ago. With the force of an indescribable power, her mind suddenly registered the blatant fact that she'd now been incarcerated longer than her girls had lived. Tears blurred her vision again, and she wiped away the mixture of sweat and tears with the back of her hand. For once, she felt blessed to have the small sink in her cell. She turned on the tap, cold water only, all they were allowed, and she was glad of this missing amenity. The sharp sting of the cold water brought back the harsh reality of what had become of her life. 